Alola, welcome to the Wolf Pack. My name is Sandistress A3. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Guys, we made it to for last episode, we made our way through, we found our way into Rose Tower, closed down a bunch of Macrocosmos employees, and Oliana. And now we're in the in the finals. And we have the gym leaders. And I want I can't wait, I wanna fight Melody as anyways. Here, you will be heading to the pitch. The open ceremony should be starting soon. Then, and you go. I'm actually excited about this. I get to finally face some gym leaders. Here we go. Here we go, it's Leon. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Gower. I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman has taught it with some business, so I no hope. And yeah, in order to lead you all to greater heights, this later. The point is, I'm excited. The time has come to for you to battle it out to see who's the best. So on behalf of the chairman, let me say, let the final matches begun. So I just gotta get to fight Melody, right? Or am I gonna be fighting someone else? Wait, you? Wait, you? Who's that? B? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Bede, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym judge. Bede, he's that challenger who endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with Sand Challenger Sand here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask him nonetheless. Let me battle him. And I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. One next unexpected turn of events. Former Challenger Bead has come for one last battle. We are currently defeated debating what to do with Challenger Bead. To all of you both here in the scene and you're in the home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know that this is ridiculous of me, but I have to say something. And do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Oleana who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And at that strange, and then that strange old lady came out of nowhere and dragged me into a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what a bedroom covered in pink? Do you have quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day? And here I am pouring my heart out to you when I lo even when I lo never lost my cool before. We've reached a, de a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion and himself has accepted Biddy's. Bead sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to go stronger? Or is it a trial for your challenger sand? How about both? Mine will hasn't e been broken yet. Bring it on, leader Bead. Oh, that's cool. Bead's a gym leader. I like this. So he's got himself some new Pokemon. So he's gonna start with a Mawile. But of course, I am gonna be going for this. We face too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. You sure you can win against me? I mean, look at the level difference. I am level 68. He is level 51. It's pretty obvious. Oh, you dodged. Lucky. Anyways, if you're excited about this episode, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. As we go for the ball of death, here we go. Down with your steel type. And with that, Mawile is out for good. Next up is a God of War. A fairy type. Luckily, I have a. Oh, wait. Synthesis. Come on out, buddy. It's time for your steel to cut through that fairy. I just realized something. I should be using Synthesis for this battle because Synthesis is a steel type. And no steel ain't. It would be nice to have it some stronger steel moves, but you know, whatever. Also, I'm going to be what Also, I will be showing you guys a video next time that a friend of mine was able to set, get me the information of. You know, for. As we. But now back to the battle. Is I'm going to take out a Gardevoir with a steel wing. I just remembered, I was actually originally going to go for a Gardevoir, but then I remembered I have I got a Dawn, like a certain stone for a Gallade, so I guess going for that. And Gardevoir's down, oh you got a, ooh, a Rapidash, just like me. So wait, did they let you keep the Rapidash? Equestria? God, it's so gay, I don't know why. Oh, come on! 
you dodged. Not bad. With that, we're gonna get this done. Also, I'm really glad I got this item. It's really useful. Think about it. It's literally me with a leftovers. And the steel wing takes down his, his pony. His big old floppy pony. And now, it's time for your ace Pokemon, buddy. As Symphysis is level 67. <laughs> there we go, boy. Hatterene. Wait, that's a fair. <clears throat> What's with that calm expression? Think you're gonna win? Wait, is Hatterene a starter? Oh, wait, Hatterene's a fairy. Actually, let me look at you. Okay, yeah, you're our fairy. You know what time it is, though, boys? Dynamax time for me. As we send out our giant. Motherfucking bird into battle. Here we go. Also, doesn't it look like whenever you, it looks like you have a beard though. Let's see your giant, your giant, your Gigantamax. I'll show you what a truly great pink. It's time for my dear Hatterene to Gigantamax. Wait, what's it look like when it's Gigantamax? I'm curious. Oh! That's actually pretty cool! Might as well go for my move. Max Steel Spike, please. And with that, Hot Terrain is unable to battle! Meaning, I have beaten Bead once again, but this time with him as a gym leader. And with that, Bead here, Gym Leader Bead, has been defeated. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show how great fairy types are. Oh, he looks happy now. Also, I feel like, isn't Bead like... Melanie's, Melanie's grand, like, son? Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Bead. Uh, it looks like Challenger Bead was no match for Champion Sand and his trusted team. Hey, B, that was some match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But, but this isn't what I planned. If I was able to fight you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was always going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans. Let, let everyone cheering for me, aunt me on like this. I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. And I, no, I suppose for my talents, I'll be able to take Miss Ope over, take Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, cheer on your sand. Please head back to the locker room so you can rest up for that from that unexpected match. Thanks. Rather surprising to challenge for challenger B to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. Okay, my Pokemon ready. Okay. These are my members. Cheer them on! Let's go! It would be really nice to, you know, be able to face, Mel like, Melanie, or the the Ice Gym Leader in this game. It'd be fun. It's time- the time of waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in this round- first battle of the, the first round are... A train endorsed by champion himself, Champion Sand. His opponent is the Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. I can I can tell you've grown fast, Stronger, since you, that you faced me in Hallberry Stadium. You've got a, I got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leia. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out. You out to sea. And beyond the horizon. Wanna bet? Leader Nessa!
Sending out the Galissapod. Here I go. Some of you might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Yeah, I'm not going to let you just do that. You see, I have two secret weapons to prepare for you. See, liquidation doesn't hurt me. I mean, it hurts a lot, a little bit, but not as much. So let's get going for the overdrive. There we go, baby! There we go! And let's see if anyone levels up. There we go. Barakasada! A bar a bar sakawaida. Yeah, let's wait. No. Okay. Send out your flat you send out more fish. That's just what I need. A lot. A lot. A lot of fish. Okay. Well, you said, oh, who took out Turbo? How did you get Turbo? I did not notice that. Leaf Blade will help me. Oh, uh-oh. The Ice Fang, hey, hey, hey. You got the Icy Fang. Just can you get my blade of grass? Which means that you are out. Meaning I can proceed into the fight. Get ready for the finals. Seeking. This is gonna be fun. I should probably revive, you know, Turbo, just in case. There we go, baby. With that out of the way, I can get back to work. Oh, we got the Aqua Ring. I'm saving my Dynamax though. Not well temporarily. I'll be I'll be using it for her final Pokemon. You know, because I don't want to waste it here. You never know when it could come in handy. Anyways, oh Turbo is about to go up a level. Oh, you got a Pelipper? Okay. Interesting, but okay. Oh, you got a Drizzle! Can I at least be super... Oh. 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 So it's big. Okay, I have this one. This one I have to do. There we go. There we go. Let's go for the overdraw, baby. There we go. God, it feels so long. Okay, Turbo is level 66. Chibi is level 68. Not bad. Dreadnought. This looks like I'm down to my last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. What are you going to do? You said you were going to Dynamax. You see, I know your plans. You just plan to, you know, save the. You're gonna use Gigantamax. I know. It's okay. I'm still gonna beat you. With that, let's Dynamax our Pokemon. We have a giant electric poison monster ready to fight. And it'll be fun. Fill out the stadium and make it our ocean. Jenna, time the Gigantamax. Oh, I remember. Okay, that Gigantamax form. It looks cool as hell. I love it. Anyways, let's start it off. Let's just finish this off already, too. 
There we go. See, that wasn't so hard. Right? With that, Dreadnought is down for the count. Meaning Nessa is out of the tournament. And I can move forward. No one I succeeded. And I love my Pokemon. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I might not my ear. You had you had no problem handing out thirty nut might. It's no wonder that you won. And the winner is Sand! He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again! You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sydney was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I'd paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. Oh, no. Melanie! No! So I gotta fight Alistair. Well, I should be back downstairs! Okay. Are my Pokemon ready? Who do I start off with? Okay, I want to start off simple. Okay, I'll go with Lola, because Lola is strong. It's time to move in. Ladies and gentlemen, we've all, we've, we've, we're all ready at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the special surprise during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup as the former gym challenger beat Stormy stormed the stage, but saying it was having none of it. This year's top challenger made it quick work of him before rushing away Jimmy and Nessa and now take him on here comes Jim Al leader Alistair the boy known far and wide as the silent school aged star Alistair you look well I remember you you are the strongest gym challenger I had uh, so I reckon we sh should battle Okay, he's shy, but he's got some strong ghost types, I bet. Please tell me this kid's got a dust nor. Yay, yeah, he's got a dust nor! Thank you! He's looking for a challenge. Everyone's looking, I want to hide, but I'll fight! What's wrong with your eyes? Okay, his eyes look do look, look cool. I'll admit that much. Blast bun, play play. Here I go. Oh, has Dusknor survived? But it, oh no, oh no. Oh, can I run away? No, I can't run away. This is gonna be easy. This is just like my Let's Play playthrough on Let's Go Pikachu. I swept through everyone else's team, but for every team in the game, no problem. Oh, it was fun. I trained a lot, and I've been doing that ever since. It's just part of me. Anyways, this is a good match. Okay, your next Pokemon's a Curse, a Cursola. Okay, I'm gonna go for Chibi. Just to be safe. Hmm.
Wait, what type are you? You're just a pure ghost type. Do I have any Pokemon that have super effective moves? No. No, I do not. So I gotta wake this work. I'm gonna go for a Leaf Blade. There we go. And with that, Cursola, Cursola is down for the count as well. Meanwhile, Excalibur is level 68. And that's an improvement. Chandelure. Not bad. You know, uh, oh. I may have to make a pit stop after all with my synthesis. <laughs> and this is going to be fun because I've been waiting to do this for a while. Steel versus fire. Who wins? And we got the pressure going on here, baby. Let's go for our move. Brave bud, son. See? Even, a, even though I lost some HP, quite a bit of HP, I'm still going to get some of it back. See? And here we go. We'll see who your next Pokemon is. Because I've taken out his Dusknoir, his Cursula, and now his Chandelure. Oh, he's got a Palti Geist. I want to bet that's like a Steel type. So just to be safe, I'm going to be sending out Lola. Because Lola has some fire moves that I can use against it in case it's like a Steel type. Please be Steel, please be Steel, please be Steel. If you have a Steel type, that's helpful. I want one! No, oh no, oh, and those protect! And those protect! And the- okay, I can still move. That's good! Stop using protect! Better! There! It wasn't a steel type, but I took it down! And with that, I'm good. Who's your last Pokemon? Gengar? Bring it. My very last Pokemon, how lonely, how frightening. You thought you could take me down. Ugh. Let's do this, puppy. As I go for the Dynamax, yet again in these battles. I've been using this for a while now. Well, not for as a wall, also, for, but you know what I mean. Also, I can't wait for it later this year because Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield are getting the expansion pass pretty soon, so I can't wait. Please. Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Please, remove his mask. Just do so. It looks so ugly looking. God. But it looks cool at the same time. And let's go for our Max Flare Ball. You know. Because I believe in the power and it survived. Let's see what move you know. On the bright side, I think I'll get to see its move. G Max Tower, it's like Shadow Tag. You won't get away. I won't let you. Okay. Doesn't matter, I'm not going to escape. I'm going to finish you off. Because this will help me. And with that last move, Gigantamax Gengar is out for the count. And I took, and with that, I have beaten Alistair yet again. And now, oh, Lola's level 69. Not bad, girl. Not bad, girl. And with that, we defeated Alistair. Maybe my mask kept me from seeing just how strong you really are. You should take it off. I want to see your face. Challenger said it's done again. What a performance. He sails right through. Crumbs. That was ace. G give it your best out there. I'm mad about strong trainers. 
or seemingly unstoppable challengers for, headed for the final round. But who will we meet there? Will it be I pass on Dynamaxing Piers? Or the Dragon Lord himself, Ryan? The next match will decide it, so don't go far from your screens. Oh, it's Ryan! I'm so upset that I couldn't, you know, face off Melanie. That would've been nice! What content? Whoa! Contender Raihan is gruesomely taken down, gloriously defeated Contender Piers. I knew it! I'm fighting Raihan! Sis! Sis! You shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Sand. I thought. Sorry, Sand. I thought my bro could get you. could get revenge for me. But he lost to Raihan. You look so sloppy out there that people are going to think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Ryan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience just how proper an amazing battle without Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Sand. I've got it. I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in not for a chin wag just before the final match. We are Raihorn's waiting for you on the bridge. We're looking forward for a good right battle. And with that, we will because it is time to kick Raihorn's ass. And not with a giant ass elephant. Right. We're going to do it with a bunny. Because the rabbit is strong within me. Here it is! The last match of the finals! Who earned the right to, to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star, champion, challenger sand, or will it be the only champion on calls his rival, the Tamer of Dragons, Ryan? Yo, yeah, man. Yo, there was something else, kid. You really, you, you've made it all the way here. I guess that's why champion himself endorsed you. Yeah. Leon's my rival, and he chose you. So I've got to first prove that I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You you might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think uh, if you think I'm the same Raihan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. I won't. Because I'm going to beat you, Raihan. <laughs> You're weak. Here we go. The final match. Raihan. And he's starting with a Torkoal? Okay. I'm saving my Dynamax band now. That's true. It gets the sunlight burning real harsh. Let's go for a mega kick, please. Oh, come on! Hit. Down. Of oh, what? Damn it! You're awake. Let me see. I have a good supply of items, I'm holding it. Anyways, let's go. Oh, you're using body press. Let's try another mega kick, if I can land it. Yes, I was able to land the hit. And with that, Torkoal is down. I repeat, guys, I have beaten Torkoal. Oh, and Sub-Zero, level 65. The next book one's a fly gun. Okay, I'm sending out my my ice to crush your dragons. To, to, you know, to freeze your dragons to extinction. Because I want to win. As he goes for the fly gun, which I actually have one of my own bottle in the box, and it's really cool. As we oh, you're gonna go for the sandstorm. Okay, can I go for say something else now? Let the winds blow! Straight forward, say it's storm! As we go for Blizzard, 
Okay. There. Down. Down goes with your sandstorm brewing dragon. Freak thing. Okay, synthesis. Level 68. Not bad. Okay, my team is going quite strong. Wait, who's your next Pokemon? Turtonator? No way. It looks so cool. Okay, where do you go to find Turtonator? I want one. I need a Turtonator for my team. There we go. Oh no. Oh yeah. You're both getting her. Doesn't matter. You know what I can do? Finish you off. With this. Wait, what happens if I activate it? Oh, I didn't set it. It didn't activate. That's good. Who's last? Duraludon, I believe. Wait. Gudra? Oh, you got a dragon water. Think. Let's take my chance. Blaze it. Rain dance. Not bad. Sorry, Doreen. Here comes the rain. Feel its cold dampness soaking your to your body. Okay. Can I land the blizzard? Damn it! And in those muddy water. Oh no, 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 no. What a blizzard, damn it. Thank you. Ryan, you're really pissing me off. Oh. Mm. Just stop with the waterworks, please. Thank you. Now down with your drag with your dragon gooey dragon thing. Oh yeah, Gudra. Oh Dur uh, Duraludon! You know what? I've been doing this for a little while. I think it's time I go in my partner. Lola! As Lola is back in the action. You didn't realize I'm the great Rahab, right? So I'll be the one to beat Leon, so first I'll beat you! Wait, isn't Duraludon a steel type actually? Hold on. Hey Jet. You're a oh yeah, you are steel! You're weak! I can take you down! With Dynamax style! Because Dynamaxing is the way to go. Not as good as Gigantamaxing, but still, you know, it looks better. Anyways, I'm going for my Dynamax. He's going for a Gigantamax, so I'll be entertaining me to some reason. Anyways. Bring my store! My partner was in this, everyone to stay in flying! Oh, don't stop! Just stop with the selfies! Just stop! Your dragon is losing! Also, I like how, is, how it's gigantic. Someone is like a giant ass walking skyscraper. It looks so cool. Anyway, let's go for the max flare. Oh, you took, you survived. Not so bad. Not too bad. What's your move? Max Rockfall. Come on. Oh, that's actually helpful on my part, my half, my behalf. It'll, it'll still affect you. I mean, it'll affect me, but it'll also take on, do some damage to his Duraludon. You know what I mean, right? Oh, it won't? What? Let's go for our Never Max Flare. To finish it off. Good. It's down. And with that last one, Duraludon has been defeated. Meaning I will be the one that gets to take on Champion Leon. But not yet, because there's going to be a lot of interruptions. But it doesn't matter, Raihan is lost. Losing the finals is pretty rip. I suppose I better take a quick shot to remember it by. That is true. I can see his phone's all sad. Challenger Sand sees his victory. 
My love Pokemon and I have come become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew us right past us beyond anything I'd imagine. I'm still pretty young myself, but it goes to show it just goes to show that there is no always someone younger coming up. Reaching further than you ever dreamed, and you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Let's prove Leon that Leon's unbeatable. Number chat be 83. Challenger Sanders achieved a marvelous, a dazzled triumph. The trainer who is endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. The result of the match. <gasps> I did it! I did it! <laughs> Alright! The big moment's here! Finally here now! Eh? I just came to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's that easy picking sides. After all, it's side is the shootout between my big brother and my rival. What should I? Who should I really want to win more? Ruler boom. Right, you and I should cheer for Santa too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. We did start this beat out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee. You hear? If ever I can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Rilla boom. Finally, it's time for a championship match. If you're ready, please head for the champions, bitch. Right. Here I go, baby. Are my Pokemon ready? Oh, they're ready. Please, just let me face Leon. There he is. <laughs> the tense, still air is on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It, feel, it can fill you with fear knowing it, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to season their victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching, very anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all of our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? Hello there, champion. Leon said, just letting you know. Now, I think it's time I brought about the darkest day, for the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm in a the energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. What the fu- I'm sorry it's come to this, but you, you're the one who forced my hand, Leon. You refused to listen. Wait, it's in the stadiums? Leon! I mean... R Lee! Sand! That video stream was that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did, did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he said, he was saying, he said, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem of a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should, re I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. Billy, you're terrible directions. We need to get lost on the way. I want to help my brother, Sand. I've got to, but I can't even imagine. Even manage with you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman must have out the darkest day. That's the thing, that thing that where the sky went all dark once, ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean he's bringing that about? And where did he even hear that name? The statue of the, that statue of a hero. That statue of the hero of Sorry, I did, said something back then about it. 
though it, it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those ma two managed to bring an end to the darkest day of the Sword and Shield Pokemon. So you thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere for though, right? We should try to find him, Sam, but where to start looking? Um, the slumbering world? That's it, Sam! I'm sure it's gotta be the slumbering world! That illusion you tried to fight off the other day! It must have been why the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there! Let's go back to the slumbering world! If we're lucky, then we'll find something that can help! Yay! We're back in post work. <laughs> Feels weird being here. Huh? Sand and Hop? Ah, oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't been watching the news at all. The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that and is to sending the re entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering world? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. That, 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 what, they're, what they're calling it, the darkest day. They've thrown everything into this array. I'm, still, I don't, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. Yen the beatable, champ, the beatable champion will be there, able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name of the black storm that nearly brought the god region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, San? I'm here to see I'm searching for the shield Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. That may be just it may be just what we need to beat back that black storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head to the slumber world. I'll catch up with to if you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. <gasps> Max revives! Thank you! My mom! All that matters is that you do you do what you can. You've become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. I'm about to be the champion. Ready for this, Ed? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog. Not that it bothers now. We've both grown loads stronger, so we, and so have our Pokemon. Going to the forest at the wood of that day? That was the start of everything. It wasn't a legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head and add another page to our tale. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna move. 